Now this is a level two algebra excellence question. Uh, so you've got a circle. Uh, so let's read the question. So this is a circle and this is a line. Line has the equation y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, and this 3 tells me that the y-intercept is 3. So that's why I have shown 3. I know that this is point 3. Okay, R3 on the y-axis. This is a circle with center, centered at 0, 0. And they are just touching at a point and you want to find what's the radius of the circle. So let's read the question. A circle centered at 0, 0. So this is a circle centered at 0, 0 with a radius r. So we don't know the radius. So this is the radius r. Has the formula x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. If the line y is equal to 2x plus 3 just touches the side of the circle so that the line and the circle intersect at one point only. So this is the only point of intersection. Or in other words, this line y is equal to 2x plus 3 is the tangent of the circle. What's the radius of the circle? So, so what information do we have? So if you follow this strategy, first write what you have and uh, then write what you want to find and try to and the third step is to try to relate the two uh, two steps or the, so first write what is given or what is that you know given you got a line which is y is equal to 2x plus 3 i'm showing you how you should be thinking in an exam situation students tend to think uh, in a random way, in a haphazard way, uh, so they don't know what they are thinking. So we know a line, which is this, and you've got a circle, you've got a circle having the equation x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So this is the first information that we have, and the second information that we have. Of course, this is centered at 0, 0. Okay, now, what do we want to find? Okay, so to find... So you, in any question, you will have these two things, okay? To find R, that's what we want to find, the radius. This is what we want to, or R squared. If you know R squared, you can find R. R or R squared, okay? Now, what do we know? They're intersecting. Okay, one more thing, they're intersecting at one point. Okay, so let me write that. So intersects intersects at only one point okay now what does that mean okay i'll come to that later so i'm thinking well you've got two equation y is equal to 2x plus 3 and this is x squared plus y squared so can i relate this to that's my question now so let me change color uh, I'm looking, my focus is not now on these two equations. Okay, so what can I, can I equate or can I do some uh, some form of relationship between these two lines, or sorry, between these two equations, one of line and the other of circle. So let me rewrite. So let me use a different color. So let me use red. Y is equal to 2x plus 3. I can see a y squared here, so can I change this into y squared? So, well, I say yes, I can. So, if I do y squared on this side, or I square this side, you have to square the other side, x plus 2x plus 3, the whole squared. So, y squared is equal to 2x plus 3 times 2x plus 3. See, one good way of tackling any question is to not lose your cool. You should always be cool try to do whatever you can so now you're going to expand this so don't think what's going to happen how am i going to use this do what you can so i'm expanding this so 4x times 4x is sorry 2x times 2x is 4x squared then you've got a 6x plus 6x plus 9 therefore y squared is equal to 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 just like that 
okay so slowly things will develop okay don't need to rush okay let me change color now what can I do with the second equation second equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared now can I write this in terms of y squared well I can say yes I can if I take away x squared from both sides, I can write y squared is equal to r squared minus x squared so I have written I've got two equations now both in terms of so let me say this is equation one and this is equation two now use your logic if you've got two equation in terms of y squared you got what can you say about this which is the right hand side of one and the right hand side of two I have explained this in a number of videos but I'll do it again suppose y squared okay let me make up a number is say 14 plus 2 okay and y squared is say 20 minus 4 14 plus 2 is 16 20 minus 4 is also 16 therefore can I say 14 plus 2 is same as 20 14 plus 2 is same as 20 minus 4 because both are 16 now don't think that I'm trying to tell you y squared is 16 this is just an example to do the next step so using this same logic can I say that uh, 4x squared 4x squared plus 12x minus plus 9 sorry is equal to r squared minus x squared now I want to make a quadratic equation so I'll bring this whole thing to the left hand side so the next step is 4x squared plus 12x I hope this step is clear in other words I'm taking away r squared from both sides and adding x squared to both sides whichever way you understand so simplifying you got a 4x squared here and a plus x squared here so the next step can be written as 5x squared plus 12x plus 9 minus r squared is equal to 0 now after this step you are stuck you can do till here without having much knowledge of algebra now you have to know one fact <coughs> about uh, quadratic formula so let me write the quadratic formula <coughs> the quadratic formula is uh, this formula okay uh, sorry so I didn't want to do that so the quadratic formula is like this x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a now this is one information or one fact that you should know that when if you can refer your nature of roots now this b squared minus 4ac is called is very important in finding the nature of roots or also the type of intersection between two graphs so when two graphs are two equations intersect there are uh, three possible intersections they may intersect they may not intersect one possibility or they may intersect at two points or they may intersect at three different sorry one point suppose if you have a line and a circle uh, if a line and a circle this is one possibility that they don't intersect second possibility is they intersect at only one point and the third possibility they intersect at two different points now when they don't intersect at any point then b squared minus 4ac let me write that in this situation so I'll try to squeeze in here in this situation you can uh, you should know b squared minus 4ac would be less than zero in this situation if it's intersecting at only one point that's it's a tangent then b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero and if it is intersecting at two different points or two distinct points b squared minus 4ac 
I'll try to squeeze in here, 4AC would be greater than 0. Okay. So here it's intersecting or just touching the line, uh, circle at one point. So this is the case. B squared minus 4AC is equal to 0. So let me write that. So let me write as the circle and line intersects at only one point. This is one fact which is very powerful, which is very useful. Uh, B squared minus 4AC is equal to zero. Okay, so this is something that you should know to tackle this type of question. So, so let me write what's my A. So what's A? A is the 5, your B is 12, and your C is 9 minus R squared. Now, it's always good to go through these steps because students tend to do a lot of mistakes when they're substituting A, B, and C. And in, in substitution, if it's wrong, the whole thing can be wrong. So this is 12 squared minus 4 times 5 times 9 minus r squared is equal to 0. Therefore, 144 minus 20 <coughs> times 9 minus 9 minus r squared is equal to 0. So, 144, 20 times 9 is minus 180 plus 20 r squared is equal to 0. So, this is minus 36 minus 36 plus 20 r squared is equal to 0. So 20 r squared is equal to 36. So we're dividing both sides by 2, 10 r squared is equal to 18. And dividing this side by 10 and this side by also 10, this implies r squared is 1.8. Okay. So which implies r is square root of 1.8. You can leave this answer as it is, so this is perfect. So the square root of 1.8 is the radius. So we have answered the question. But we need to check whether this equation, the answer that we have got is right. And that's what helps, uh, What that's what the graphic calculator is about. Now, this is r squared. Okay, oops. This is r squared, so r squared I can write as 1.8 now. So I'm going to check whether this uh, answer is right. How can I check? So the equation that we have got now is y is equal to 2x plus 3. And from x squared plus y squared is equal to 1.8. <coughs> can I write y squared is equal to? 1.8 minus x squared. So y is plus or minus square root of 1.8 minus x squared. I'll show you how to check this on a graphic calculator. And we can also find the point of intersection, Okay, though it is not uh, a part of the question. But if it was asked, find the point of intersection, we can answer that. So you got a good your graph. Okay, and type in the first equation, which is y is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay, so you go 2x plus 3. And for the circle, you've got two, you have two branches of the circle. Okay, I can't move the cap. Oops. Uh, yeah. So, I'm drawing the, I'm assuming that it is intersecting in the upper part. So I'll not plus or minus. You do sh uh, simply shift square root bracket 1.8 minus x squared. So this will draw the upper branch of the circle. And I'm presuming that the point of intersection is in the upper half of the circle. So let's see. Oh, so my scale is too big. What did I do? Oh, it's 1.8, so I can see the mistake. It should be 1.8, yeah. Here's your circle. Okay, so let me make the scale. Your scale is fine. 
So this is your circle and this is your line. Okay, and then if you go G solve F, so the point of intersection is minus 1.2, 0 0.6. Now if you want to draw the whole circle, just to explain how to draw the whole circle, I have drawn the upper part. If you want to draw the, the lower part of the circle, what you do is minus shift square root bracket 1.8 minus x squared close the bracket now you can draw the whole circle so this is the upper branch which can be drawn by plus and this is the lower branch okay and uh, this is your answer see you in the next one